Greetings, Poké fans. Michael here. Hype season is back. Yeah! So last week was a huge news week for Pokemon. I realize I'm substantially behind on the reporting on the news aspect of it, but that's because I'm an incredibly busy. But that's because I'm an incredibly busy college student who didn't have time to make a video on it until right now. So instead of just a news video, I'm gonna give you guys some of my predictions for the next main series game. Not Pokemon Go, because in all honesty, my hopes for that are not high, but Pokemon Z. Although technically, me saying the next main series game is Pokemon Z is a prediction in itself, but forget about that one. I'm also gonna throw in a few anime predictions at the end, just for fun. Now before I begin, let me give you a quick summary of the news that was announced last week. I'll say it fast because most of you probably already know it already. <gasps> Zygarde takes many different forms depending on how many cells it assembles. The cells are these pieces of green eggs and ham, and they have no will or thoughts. Blobby is Zygarde core. Several of them make up the brain of Zygarde, communicating telepathically with each other, taking action when the ecosystem under a threat. Zygarde 10% form, or as I like to call him, Guard Dog, takes form when 10% of the total cells assemble together. The Zygarde we're used to is Zygarde 50% form, when half the total cells assemble together. If 50% is deemed not strong enough to handle the crisis, all the cells assemble together to form Zygarde complete form. The God Decepticon, which is said to be more powerful than Xerneas Antiveltal. Which makes sense, since it looks like it squished them up and then rubbed them all over its arm wings. Also, we were informed of Ash Greninja, the form that Greninja takes when its bond with Ash is raised to the limit. It is said that this has only happened once before in calls hundreds of years ago, but the whole thing is shrouded in mystery. Now for my predictions. Now these are just guesses and I very well could be wrong, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Number one. Z will not be a sequel to X and Y, but a rewriting of it. So what do I mean by this? Well, so far there have been five cases of same region games occurring in the same generation as the originals. Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, and Black 2 and White 2. Black 2 and White 2 were sequels, but the rest of them were rewrites. The same story as the original with some pretty noticeable tweaks and a change in the main legendary. I think Z will be the same, with Team Flare again trying to kill everyone but themselves, and instead of the player stopping them, Zygarde does. Actually, that leads into my next prediction. Number two, the player will gather the cores and use Zygarde to stop Team Flare. So normally the bad guys try to use the legendary Pokemon for whatever evil purpose they choose. But I think that this time, since its role is specifically to save the ecosystem whenever it's in trouble, Zygarde won't be the one that needs saving by the player. It'll be the one saving the world, likely assembling into its complete form to take on Team Flare. I do think the player will play a pivotal role though, similar to calling on Rayquaza to help back in Emerald. I think it probably has something to do with traveling across the region gathering the cores together to aid Zygarde in transforming into its complete form. Number three, Z will not be the last 6th gen game. Let me explain. You all know the blue pentagon. If a Pokemon has it, that means it originated from a 6th gen game, whether it was hatched or caught or gifted or whatever. Now back when the Auras demo came out, there were several people from Project Pokemon who dumped the game code from it and found that there are six game origin values, a game origin value being the number assigned to each game, that trigger a blue hexagon. The numbers 24 through 29. X and Y are 24 and 25, Alpha Sapphire is 26, and Omega Ruby is 27. That means that there are two slots left. One for Z, and one for another game. Is it possible the next Kalos games will be a pair? Yes, but honestly I doubt it since Zygarde Complete Form appears to represent both Xerneas and Eveltal simultaneously. I think we'll get Z and one more game after it in Gen 6. Maybe something for the 20th anniversary, I don't know. I just think it's highly likely that Z will not be the last one. Now for some quick, fun anime predictions! First, I think Ash Greninja is an anime-only thing, just to make things more interesting. Maybe they'll explain it with Protean, I don't know. I do think it's possible we'll get it as an event-only Pokemon, though, like we did with Spiky-Eared Pikachu. And second, I think Ash is going to get Mega Sceptile. The promo poster for the next season of the anime has Ash's entire team on it, with Noibat and Frogadier fully evolved, and a Mega Sceptile. Every Pokemon on that poster, other than Zygarde, belongs to someone on that poster. So I don't think they just throw it in there willy-nilly. I think Ash's Mega is going to be Mega Sceptile to promote Oris. And that makes me so dang excited! 
Alright guys, those are my predictions. I could of course be wrong about these, but I actually feel pretty good about them. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with my predictions? What are some of your own predictions for the future of the games and anime? Let me know in the comments below! And if you like this video, be sure to hit like, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and subscribe if you haven't. Alright, that's all I have for now, so until next time, Poke fans. Gotta catch them all!